What is going on, everybody? My name is Zilla Prince, and welcome back to yet another reaction video. Why reaction video number 52? And we are reacting to a video by the SCP animated a Tales from the Foundation. It's an um, animation channel that I watched the other day with the Siren Head video, and I said I would come back and watch some more of their videos, and here I am. And this video just came out yes uh, the other day when I. By the time I'm recording this, it came out yesterday. This is the origin of the sculpture. It's an SCP animation. Now, if you guys don't know what the sculpture is in the SCP Foundation, it is SCP-173, which you'll you'll um, see in a few seconds, if you guys don't understand it. Or you guys can Google it or whatever not. But um, we're going to go ahead and reaction. And by the way, this is all fan... It's a fan-made animation. It's not uh, official. It's just fan-made. So without further ado, guys, we're going to go ahead and click play on this bad boy in 3, 2, 1. Because their animations do intrigue me. In the howling temple of the Black Moon's light, five brave fools right, came in the right, night. I gotta turn this down a little bit. The first gave flesh. The second gave stone. The third gave the power to move one alone. The fourth gave life and the power to think. The fifth gave nothing, for he paused and he blinked. Yep, D-class personnel. My eyes are starting to burn again. I need to blink. Clear, clear. Randall is still cleaning. Will is to my right. I want to turn and check up on him, but... Yeah, that thing. It's just spray paint, right? The eyes. Because I feel like it's staring Why directly at me. Why does he look like me. that? That's SCP-173, just you guys know. The other boys the same for them. Just green spray paint, gazing directly into their souls. I can't see Will, but I can imagine he's scared out of his wits. He is the newest of us all. They say they don't know how this thing came to be, but they may be lying. Around here, there's always a good chance they're not telling the whole story. In any case, most of the time when I come in this room and have to mop up its mess, I dream of ways that this sculpture could have been made. An old trick one of the other D's told me when I first started. It's better than focusing on the fact that it could kill you at any moment, he said. I spent quite a few hours in here, breathing in the stench and staring the sculpture down, so I've come up with a lot of stories. My favorite involves a dark temple in the middle of the night. Five hooded figures stand in a circle around a pile of concrete rubble and metal rebar, and a body that becomes encased inside. They perform a ritual and it's formed before their eyes. A grotesque, uncanny, vaguely humanoid form. A twisted spine, somehow the wrong number of legs, and of course, those green spray paint eyes. Did Wait, those, just those are supposed to be eyes? Nah, I'm paranoid. But it's supposed to be higher up, isn't I, it? Uh, I need to blink, guys. Clear, clear. Yeah, he's definitely terrified. Once we get out of here, I'll tell him about this trick. He might come up with a better story. I wonder if Will's ever been attacked by an animal. A dog bit me on the leg when I was 12. I had to get a rabies shot and all that. Anyway, when you're about to get attacked, there's this moment when your body knows what's about to happen. Even if your mind doesn't. It's primal. Your muscles tense. The adrenaline pumps. It's fight or flight. Or in my case with the dog, freeze. Regardless, your body is ready to react. Up oh, your incoming ad. This is Tyler. Shite. Tyler, with Grammarly's help, is writing an email. Because yeah, deal with that SCP. You, if you look, yeah. Because the deal with this SCP, if you stare at it, it won't attack you. But it's the moment, you, the blink, the briefest moment that you break eye contact with it, you are dead. Because it turns, because it gets behind you and snaps your neck. Every time I have to come into oh, this SCP cell, I feel that. Three looks different the entire in this video. time, because of a statue. Unless this is a different form of him, then I don't. Of then a stationary I hunk of concrete. Hey, you guys, want to hear a joke? What's got two arms, three legs, is the ugliest thing you've ever laid eyes on. Oh, no, he's going to get one of them killed. <laughs> uh, shut up, man. This is serious. Don't distract us. Well, a little humor never killed anyone, but he's got a point. Randall is over there doing his best to clean the blood and feces off the floor. So I can't blame him for being in a foul mood. We just did this the other week. Why don't they get drones to come in here and clean? I swear, they trick us into doing degrading and unsafe things just for the power trip. 
The smell alone is enough to make you want to run out of here, but add the statue to that. I got a blink. Clear. Clear. Well, in a few minutes it'll be my turn to mop. I sure relish that. It's so much harder to imagine fantasy beginnings to this nightmare when I'm mopping up feces. How does Ew. this thing even make this mess in here? See, that's why I guess that there was some organic element to this concrete freak. It's not supposed to be able to bleed or drop solids. This is just another one of those mysteries. Things they say they can't explain. I can't turn all the way to look, but from what I can see, Randall didn't do the greatest job in his area. I'm gonna have to pick a- ah! What? No. God, I was- I looked. It wasn't even for- Randall dropped his mop. It caught Will. I only looked for a split second. My God, it's just instinct. It's instinct. God damn. How the hell was it already on its way to me? Why? What does this thing have to gain from snapping our necks? Why did it have to do that to Will? My God, this cursed thing is beyond reason, beyond messed up. I just want to cut those stupid rebar arms off and beat it with them. I guess this is the fight response kicking in. How? Why would anyone create something like this? Why does it get to choose who lives or dies? I've been in this horrible freak factory for almost a year. I've seen a lot of terrible things. I've survived through it all, and still I feel its eyes judging me. Yeah, sure. I've done some horrid things to get here, but is any of this worth it? I had my reasons. I did what I had to do. I've paid my dues. I... I've paid my dues. <laughs> The mop. It just... Will? <laughs> oh god. He's going nuts. <laughs> He's dead. What the hell's wrong with you, Leo? A man just died in front of you. Partially because you couldn't keep your eyes on this thing. Have some decency. My mind feels pierced by its gaze. I think I understand. My eyes burn and there are tears starting to trickle down my cheeks. But I can't blink now, not yet. When did it get so hot in here? It's not staring into your soul because it wants to kill. It sees the irony of it all, the irony of you. Life is chaos. It's a struggle from the day you're born. You're just flailing through time until you like reach the, the bottom of a hole. And then it's over, and then you're gone, and then you're forgotten. You okay, man? I got a blink. I almost envy him, you know. He doesn't have any reason to be scared anymore. Not of the sculpture, not of anything. God knows there are a lot of things in this building to be afraid of. What are you talking about? You're jealous of Will? He was new too, full of hope, even if he was a nervous wreck. He probably never grasped how messed up this whole place is. Come on. You can't tell me you don't want out of this. We're just as trapped as the sculpture is right now. We're the ones holding it still, keeping it captive, and all it wants to do is set us free. Isn't that cruel, Randall? Of course I want to get out. We've talked about this before. You know none of us are thrilled to be here, but it's an blink. opportunity to help ourselves and help other people. That's why I signed up, and so did you. You don't sign but up, you get man, captive. I need to that was a long time ago. I've seen a lot of dangerous stuff in these windowless buildings. Honestly, I think life would be a lot easier to live if I never knew about any of it. Anyway, he's about I'm to commit suicide. About the foundation. Yeah, we've all seen dangerous stuff. That's kind of the gig. And shouldn't we call somebody in here to get Will? And we need more than two pairs of eyes on this thing. It's awfully close to you already. It's making me nervous. Plus, there's a dead man on the floor. Frankly, you're not helping either. Where's all this nonsense coming from, Leo? Don't you see, Randall? The irony of it all? It doesn't want to kill people. It wants to set them free. Give them what it will never have. I mean, does it even have thoughts in there while we're staring at it? Is its mind frozen too? At least while we're in here petrified, we can still control our minds, find ways to distract ourselves. But this thing, it's completely at our mercy, and we're at the mercy of the world. This irony can't be going over your head, right? Oh boy. Leo, dude, I'm not sure what's going on with you, but I need to blink. Like, right now. Are you good? He doesn't understand. He never will. 
Too bad. This freedom that we have, the power to give each other, it's a mercy that too many people see as an end, as a thing to run from. Leo! I need to blink too. Tears are streaming down my face. I feel them merging with the beads of sweat sneaking downwards over my jawline, onto my neck. I'm not laughing anymore. Clear. Oh, it feels good to smile again. The sculpture's eyes are unmoving. Eyes that shouldn't be real. I see you too, man. I really see you now. I mean, it's just paint, right? Yikes. And he's Thanks dead. For if you enjoyed this animation, please consider... Okay, before we end this video, I need to take a look at something really quickly. Because the version of SCP-173 looks different. Unless there are different variations of designs of him. Um, design. Design change. Wait, are there different versions of SCP-173? <clears throat> I don't. I can't tell because it's some. I can't tell if some of these are fan made or, or what. Well, I'll find out. You guys, if you guys can let me know if you have uh, SCP-173 has different uh, looks to him, which is what probably why he looked different here. Just let me know in the comment section below, and um, <clears throat> that'll make a little bit more sense because I can't tell because some. Pictures look fan art, and some pictures don't, but I can't tell the difference. And I'm not gonna go rapidly clicking on every single picture. So, um, regardless, guys, hopefully, you guys did enjoy today's video. Like, subscribe, all that stuff, guys, and go subscribe to their channel. Bye!